All right, guys. The last one is trim function. Not that common, not that commonly used, but as we're looking at most of the functions, we'll go through it as well. Now, apart from the six to seven functions, more commonly used functions, there are other string functions as well. We'll try and catch up with that in this video only. So a trim function, what it does is simply trims these spaces before and after the input. For example, if there's an input, let's say the input is uh, your age, let's say you can say 37, then it is says space, 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 37, space, space, space. So there are just two characters over here, two numbers over there. But if I have space in a column, it's going to count the space as well when it comes to the length of the character as well. Now that's what trim function does. Trim function trims out the spaces from the start and the end. We just use this trim function to look at the syntax. Set the trim function, the column name, simple as that. And then the columns that text needs to be trimmed. And then provide the table name, the table name from which you're doing this. And then that ends the syntax, simple as that. Let's see it in SQL and have an example of that. Okay, let me not take an example of a database over here. Let me just go for a text. Select, uh, let me go for something. I'll just have a plain text. Let's say Saurabh, All right? And uh, I'll run this, the input and the output matches over here because that's the input that I've given. Now, Saurabh, if I go for, let's say, length, right? Length of this particular text, it's going to reflect the length, which is S-A-U-R-A-B-H. The number of letters are seven here, right? As length, right? And I go for something like Saurabh and that's it, right? Cool. So, Oops, 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 okay, sorry for this syntax error as length. Now I don't have to give any database over here. So Saurabh has a length of seven. Now, uh, if I just give the space over here, certain space in between certain space after that, the length comes out to be 17 now. In fact, you know, it comes out to be 16 if I reduce the number of spaces over here because the length function is counting these spaces over here as well. Right. So this is what I like to avoid. So let's say this is the string and I need to remove the space over here for some reason. Then I'll have select trim the text, right, as actual text. Let's say actual text and I'll go for something like actual text, right? And I close the query, I run this query, I can see that the trim function would have trim this, right? And if I just go simply like this, select and let me close the query over here, it's going to reflect something like this. Although it's reflecting same, but the space gets counted over here. Now, once I go for trim, I trim out these spaces before and after the text or the number over here and it represents better. We can go for as length or whatever you want to do. We have been doing that throughout this entire series, right? So yeah, this is stream function. Okay. And uh, we can use it especially for data cleaning and everything. And uh, yeah, it is used majorly in data cleaning where, you know, the input due to manual errors or human errors, data has not been recorded properly. So this is where it gets utilized.